All right, I'm back from my trip. Thought we'd try out this Back to the Future Zombies map, and oh my god, we've got the uh, Infinite Warfare Zombies HUD, which is quite cool. Spawning in with a Welling. For some reason, my gun looks quite big. <laughs> I don't know why. But I just wanted to discuss something in this video. What does COD Zombies in 2024 need to survive and just become a good game? Because if you haven't been paying close attention to the state of zombies in the last five or six years, it hasn't been particularly good in terms of like the official games. You know, it's kind of been going downhill. But I have faith that because this game is going to have like, you know, three year development time, I have faith. And also the fact that the Microsoft acquisition went through. I saw like a video on it. I'm pretty sure it's all finalized now and Microsoft will be taking control of Activision in the coming years. So that basically means they are going to be... Oh, Jesus, the lead, like, producers or whatever, or just owning Activision, so when Call of Duty games get made now, they go under Microsoft, which is probably going to be for the best. If you think about Mojang being bought out by Microsoft and how Minecraft has been really successful, honestly, ever since that occurred, I wouldn't be surprised if it does the same for Call of Duty Zombies. Right, let's get some doors open because we <laughs> need a new gun. I've got a box here with a cool, like, golden light. What are we going to get? We got the Vapor. Okay, we got Black Ops 4 guns, which is neat. Speed Cola over here. I'm assuming this is a very small map. Apparently it's... Oh, here's, there's Jerk. Nice. It's part of, like, some Noah J456 movie map setting uh, contest or something. Which is quite cool. Oh, we're going to double points. At the start of the round? That's crazy, dude. My luck is finally fixed. Yeah, there's a few different topics that I want to talk about in terms of, like, what the future of zombies needs. And the very first thing is it needs game modes. If not game modes, then different difficulty settings. I'm going to put these into two of, like, the same category because... It's the same concept. We need to have some kind of, like, lobby selection thing that allows us to choose what difficulty we want to play on. And I'm not talking, like, Black Ops 4. I'm talking, like, comparing Black Ops 3 zombies to something like World of War zombies. People who want the more classic style of gameplay should be allowed to have that. But people who want to have the more complicated... I guess saying Black Ops 4 onwards is probably a better way. Like, if you want to spawn in with a specialist, if you want to spawn in with really overpowered guns and stuff, then fine. I just want that to be a toggle. It's a concept called power creep, where basically spawning into a map or a game, whatever game it is... If you spawn in and you're instantly extremely powerful, then it just sucks the fun out of it and means that you have no reason to play for too long because there's no progression system. And if that's the case, then it's just kind of like, what's the point, you know? Oh, we've got... Oh, you can actually turn different songs on, that's cool. And kind of a weird box thing, KN57 on the wall. Uh, I'm looking for the power, but I don't know where exactly that shit is. I open the door to Jug. I'm not sure whoa, what is over there, but I don't think the power's on. Let me check. Nope, yeah, we've got to turn it on first. But yeah, outside of difficulty, I just want different game modes for zombies. So, maybe a zombie gun game. Like, if you've been watching my channel recently, you know that I absolutely love this cause and effect mod that's a thing. And it's mainly because it makes every single game, no matter what, it's always going to be different and unique. And that is extremely needed. What, beginner challenge? Okay, well, interesting. Wonder if that's something to do with the power, or is it going to be in here? But we need to have official game modes from Treyarch themselves if we want to have any kind of, like, success. Zombie gun game, zombie cause and effect, zombie lockdown, where you just have to, like, play in different portions of the map. And that sort of leads into the next point that I was going to come up with, which is survival maps need to return. Like, seriously, I don't know why they were only in Black Ops 2 Green Run, and that was it. I guess in a way, they sort of brought them back in Cold War Zombies, if you know what Onslaught Containment is. But that's really just multiplayer maps, but it turns them into Zombies maps at least, so it's like, it's kind of neat. But we need to have survival maps back. Like, imagine, I don't know, I always bring up the Rise and Drug, but... Let's say you could play on the rocket test facility and just permanently play there. Like, all the perks have just been shifted into that little area. Just like how Town... Like, people pretty much play Town Survival on Black Ops 2 more than they play any other map on the base game. Like, Transit, you know, it's it's a decent experience if you think about it, but it takes a lot of effort to go in there and be like, I'm going to play Transit back to back to back to back. Also, yeah, I am not seeing the power switch, so I'm going to just take a wild guess and say we need to do a challenge of some kind. Kill zombies using pistols. Well, 40 zombies, that's gonna be a while. Unless I'm blind and it's just in here. Oh, the Bowie knife, okay. 
Interesting. We can open this debris here. I mean, I, we, I don't know why we'd need to get into the center. Oh, we've got these, like, turrets in here. That's cool. Maybe we do a few challenges. It opens up a door, and then, boom, we can just turn on the power. Let's, let's hope. <laughs> ah, double points. I suppose I'll take it. 9,000 points and nothing to spend on it, except for the box. Ah, we've got a nuke. Actually, not ideal, because we kind of want to... Ooh, not go down. That's the thing. I'm just going to use this. Oh, Jesus. I realize I don't have quick revive yet either, so this is kind of sketch. Insta-kill? Oh, that would be great if I had any flipping ammo. I guess, do we just buy the Strife? Uh, the Strife's kind of crap, though. Let's spam the box, honestly. I'm also going to buy quick revive. I'm not taking any risks. Oh, is that the RVN? I think it is. Oh, no, it's the Switchblade. I got baited. I thought it was the RVN from Infinite Warfare, I think it is. Oh, hell yeah. The Zweihander. Or Zweihander. I think someone said that I'm pronouncing it wrong in the comments section, so my bad, dude. Uh, some kind of uh, snipery thing. Never mind. I mean, what happens if I just go and begin another challenge? Like, oh, it's already active. Oh, typical. I'm not seeing it. I'm just going to buy the Strife because who knows, bro? It doesn't seem too bad, I guess. And it's just on the walls. So we can buy ammo for it, which is good. But yeah, let me think. What else does COD 2024 and just COD in the future? COD Zombies, what does it need? Or oh, is that a PhD flopper over there? Oh, hell yeah. If only I could bloody get in this magic thing. I think it needs to have the ray gun from Cold War again because I really, really do love the ray gun in Cold War. It should feel like a really strong, powerful wonder weapon. It shouldn't be like in Black Ops 2 and 3 and even Black Ops 1. It's just people forget that it kind of sucks in Black Ops 1 because... Oh, I'm stuck! Shit, dude. Oh, do these count as pistol kills? Yeah, they do. Hey, let's go. Okay. I can get it complete at least. What was I even saying? Oh my god, that just completely threw me off. Okay, let's open this door. What are you giving me? Got another challenge here. Oh, is this this light on? Okay. Ah, it gave me a bonfire sale. Wow, that would be amazing. Oh, you don't have to collect the reward yet. Okay, so if I start the challenge for this one, is it going to open a door or something? Headshots to collect brains. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, that's actually quite cool. Collecting brains. Yeah, I don't know. It's just the fact that in BO1, the PhD flopper machine, obviously the perk kind of fixes the issue the Raygun usually has, which is the slash damage will just kill you. But other than that, I just want some really cool wonder weapons. I don't want the whole repeat four elemental wonder weapon thing because yes, it's really cool and I'm fine with it if it's going to happen for like one map, but just don't make it happen in pretty much every single map because in Cold War, I'm pretty sure what the dies have it. Mauer de Toten has it. Forsaken doesn't. And to be honest, Forsaken's wonder weapon is actually really cool. Like that axe thing that you can turn into a laser SMG. Oh, the box is right here. Hell yes. I do love these small maps. Come on, give me something cool. A peacekeeper. I mean, it's got a faster reload, I suppose. I'll give it that. This is the Back to the Future car as well. Let's go. I, I guarantee it's going to become like a viable ending by the time this map's finished. Need 10 more brains. <laughs> it feels weird, like, just collecting brains, but it's also very cool. Oh, God, so many on the floor. I need them. Oh, God, I'm getting greedy. Oh, my God. Look at this. There's so many of them. Okay, we did it. Let's go. All right, now we unlocked. It does not unlock the door. It just gives us a fire sale, really. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I suppose I'm not complaining. Wait, there isn't a power switch. I'm so stupid. I just realized what's going on here. It's turning on the perks next to them. You have to do a challenge for it. Oh, Jesus, my brain. It's fine. I I've not eaten yet today. I woke up like an hour ago. Yes, it's 2 3 p.m., but going gremlin mode right now. Oh, I love having a smooth brain sometimes. Well, we can pick up a double tap, I guess. Here we go. But there's no challenge for that. So I'm guessing maybe we have to do all the challenges to unlock Packet Punch. That would kind of make sense. We've got Speed Cola here. So, challenge. Gimme. Kill zombies in Essex side streets. Ah, it even shows us where we're supposed to do it. Nice, okay. Fair enough. I just stand around here. What else do I think COD Zombies needs to be a good game? Because that was the whole point of me making this video. It's just I wanted to make a sort of quick-ish video to come back to because I've been away for a, a good, like, five, six days now. But I also wanted to be a discussion. Like, let me know down in the comments section. What do you think COD Zombies needs in the future to make sure it doesn't fail? I know one answer is probably going to be like custom mods, because if you think about it, Black Ops 3 is the last game to have modding capability, right? And Black Ops 3 released in 2015, and it's going to be 2024 when the next COD from Treyarch releases. So if you think about it, 
we're kind of due some more custom, like, map creation in the next game. Because World at War was 2008, and then it goes to 2015, so that's like a eight-year time gap. I do hope that mods come back, because, I mean, this is on Black Ops 3 right now. And look at how goddamn gorgeous this is. Like, if we could have maps this good on BO3, imagine an engine in, like, 2024. Also, here we go. We've finally unlocked Juggernog. Boom. Let me go buy it. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to start this next challenge. Use the magic box five times. Okay. I wonder if they're random. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, dude. Couldn't sprint because I was drinking the goddamn perk. Whatever. It's fine. I could just... I'm going to just... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's a lot. <laughs> it's fine. We've got this goddamn LMG, which is just mowing them down. Yeah, that was just me being an idiot. I didn't register the fact that, oh yeah, it's a death alley. Kill all of you so we can fucking get this done. Out of quick revives now, but we have Jug. Oh, crazy. Pick up double tap. I don't think there's going to be a perk limit, but like, whatever. I'll pick up dead shot. It looks like it's the Cold War one anyway. And now we hit the box five times. I want to see multiple Easter eggs on each map, to be honest. Like main Easter eggs. Just kind of like how Exo Zombies sort of did it, where, where you have an alternate ending Easter egg. Like you just do the same steps, but like very slightly changed. But maybe you get like a completely different ending cutscene. And if possible, I would love some kind of like good and bad ending. So if you go through the game, like kind of like, I don't, I don't know what the best example for this is. Like Star Wars, how you have the light side and the dark side. One of my favorite games of all time, Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. At the very end of the game, you can basically decide if you want to go light side or turn to the dark side. So I'd love to see something like that, but in COD Zombies. So you can, like, basically become the evil one. Like, imagine if you become the person who controls all the zombies. Like how Rick Tuffer does it in Buried, but you get to see it from your point of view and actually play with you controlling the zombies or something, and it unlocks some cool, like, new game mode. Like, just thinking about that, imagine how cool that would be. Also, it looks like we unlocked the, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Speed Cola, here we go. Yeah, another bonfire sale. How many more challenges do we need, then? I think there was one by Electric Cherry, right? Oh, a random perk. Hell yeah, why not? Must have dropped from one of the zombies. Get melee kills, oh boy. Well, I guess we'll need these this, uh, bummy knife over here. Even though it's quite literally not gonna one-hit because it's <laughs> scene 14, but whatever. It's fine, we'll be okay. This door really does look like it can open, so maybe there's some kind of mini easter egg on this map. I'll leave a link to it, of course, in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself, but this is just proof that we should have custom maps and mods in the next Call of Duty Zombies game by Treyarch, because the amount of just creativity that the community brings... I mean, the community is single-handedly keeping zombies alive. My channel would not be as successful as it is without the fans, really. Like, you guys made me remotely successful. I would never have hit 21 thousand subscribers now which by the way thank you all so much but i would never have hit that if it wasn't for the love of this game mode this niche little i just realized we're supposed to be getting it fucking melee kills aren't we we're gonna have to wait for an insta kill to be honest i don't think we could do this shoot them twice and then melee okay this seems to work just really risky because in the middle of the round I could just get an insta kill. I mean, we're 10 out of 20 doing the shooting melee strat, but it's just so risky. Oh, round ended. Oh, and of course, we get an insta kill now. <laughs> when we only need four more melee kills. Just typical, bro. But I think this is going to be our last challenge, and we have a ton of bonfire sales, so we can just pack a punch for basically free. Even though we don't need it, because... Have you seen my points? Well, here we go. One, two, three... And four. Boom. And that's Electric Cherry done. Now, I'm wondering if did that unlock the Pack-a-Punch? It looks like it did. And we've got a free max ammo as well. Don't mind if I do. We have a fire sale. I suppose we might as well spin. What is this? The Maddox. Okay. Seems to be kind of decent. Oh, yeah. Pack is open now. Oh, is that Widow's Wine as well? Or is that Death Perception? I think it's Death Perception. I was going to say, I've never really seen PhD and Deadshot or, and Widows on the same map. God, this ooh, this area is quite tight, isn't it? Line them all up, though. Nice, easy way to kill every single zombie. Well, let's pack a punch of a Zweihander. Oh, surely I won't go down here. I oh, know, it should be fine. Oh, hell yeah, we've got the Revelations camo. And it shows you which one's your mule kick weapon. I didn't even register the fact that this is my mule kick weapon. <laughs> but still, that's nice. I can very much appreciate it. We don't need PhD Flopper, but I don't mind picking it up anyway. I just realized we didn't even use the fucking bonfire sale. Whatever. <laughs> I wonder if that unlocked... Oh, well, there's a nuke. Did that unlock the car? Is this now a viable ending or something? 
No? Okay. I think that's pretty much it for this map then. Oh, hello. PhD slide. Here we go. A death perception. See zombies through walls. Wow, so crazy, dude. Not the most useful perk in the world, but it's still cool that it's coded in. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. It's nice to be back. And yeah, expect normal videos scheduled to be coming back. I'll see you in the next one.